Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 21 of the Same Brain Podcast. And today we have a special guest. Roll that intro first. Okay. so nice and xbox themed can you believe wow. it oh my gosh Jeez, what could that mean jenna i think it means that we have a very special guest xbox's own major nelson oh let's give him a round of applause i like to call him my good friend larry larry i've been working with him for quite a while on a bunch of different like console launches, game launches over the years. And I can't believe that he wanted to come on our podcast. I know, I can't remember the first time I met him. It was probably uh, definitely at E3, but I don't know how long ago. Jenna actually used to work for Microsoft. I did, I did a little consulting. So cool. It's crazy how, I don't know, just playing video games when we were younger growing. I mean, we were ve like very small. Very small, I was even smaller. You were smaller, cause spoiler, I'm older. Okay. We don't have to talk about it, but it's okay. But it's really fun to be able to to now be many, 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 many years later that like we're we're kind of working in the gaming industry, getting to play video games for fun. It's funny that you say also working work. in the gaming industry because it doesn't, I mean, like, yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's like, it's so It's cool. so fun. And I just never thought that this is what we'd be doing when we would be sitting on our parents' couch fighting over the controller and now we're here with our own controllers. I would always make Jenna be player two. I would be player two. I mean, it's, it's okay. You were younger. I was teaching you about sharing. You don't really, I don't know if that's teaching <laughs> about sharing is player two. It's like, <laughs> there would be times where I think I was so little, like I didn't even realize I wasn't playing. We used to play, okay, so before Jenna moved here, oh my gosh, we used to hang out be on Xbox and play Call of Duty. Like that's how I would talk to you every single night. Yeah, we play Call of Duty. We used to play a lot of Mortal Kombat too. Oh, Remember that? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, Halo. So, oh man. I would fly out here for weekend Halo parties. I'm not even kidding you. This was back when, I forget which. Um, which Halo Reach. We were playing Halo Reach and we had like the four player, like multiplayer. And we had two big TVs next to each other. Two Raggy. Xbox. Yeah, I know. But I took, it was like the, my bedroom TV. We brought it <laughs> downstairs and stuck it on one of my consoles. Let's see if we could find a picture of that. There's gotta be something somewhere. I have one somewhere. So like all of our friends, like we would maybe have like five or six of us, like we would all come over. I didn't, I mean, I had space, but like people would just be like bring air mattresses. We'd be sleeping on the floors. It was like a real event that we would have these Halo parties. Yeah, we had so much fun that we play so much Halo and it just, it was just a good time. And uh, <sighs> now we're here. I mean, I feel like we could talk so much about this. Maybe we can have a full episode talking about some of our gaming history, but Larry is waiting in the Microsoft Teams lobby. So let me, hold on, let me let him in yeah, here. Yeah, let him in, let, him, let in. him in. Okay, here we go. Larry, hi. Hello. Hello, ladies. How you guys doing? Doing well. Welcome yeah. to the podcast. Welcome to Same Brain Podcast. Thank you for being here. I, I, I thank you for having me. I'm a big fan of what, what you guys are doing. So I'm so excited to be on. The, I love. First of all, I love listening to you. But more importantly, I love being a guest on someone else's podcast because I don't have to do anything. I just show up and talk. You do I'm, all the work. This right? is great. No, it's really fun. We started a podcast kind of during this whole lockdown thing just because like I started one it's in like 2006. Happening. Yeah. And We're then I was like, Oh wow, Why don't, we've got a lot of free time. And then now tech season, there's zero time, but it's right, been so much right. fun because we get to talk to people and kind of bring them on and sort of, I guess. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I've been doing my podcast, um, Major Nelson Radio, which is now called the Xbox Podcast since about 2006 or 2007. Wow. So uh, yeah, so welcome to the party. It's great, <laughs> it's great. So what is it like for you though? I mean, you've been doing this for so long. Actually, how many console launches have you been a part of? This will be my third one, which there are, you know, there's not a lot of people that have worked on the consoles that can say they launched three consoles. So Xbox 360. In fact, in fact, I'm wearing <gasps> my, this, 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 uh, this one, which I got from our zero day, uh, zero hour event for the launch of the Xbox 360, which was my first console. This, this shirt's 20, uh, 15 years old. Oh my gosh. So X Xbox 360, which is, uh, which we launched in 2005. Xbox One, which is 2013, and now we're coming up here. We are with Xbox Series X and S. So yeah, so thir three. So I feel like it's safe to say that every single console launch, as far as everything has been concerned, is extremely different. Yeah, I mean, every, you're right. I mean, certainly you look at the look at the migration of, 
360, I remember, if you guys remember, it was like everybody had SD TVs and, and it became the HD era, right? We were all getting our HD, our 720 and 1080p TVs. And then uh, Xbox, you know, when Xbox One came out, it was like about switching apps like you can on your phone where you're switching back and forth and kind of that concept. And it's gotten even better with Xbox, um, with Xbox Series X and S because, as you guys know, you've been you've been using a console, the consoles for a few weeks. They're so fast, right? So the graphics are always going to look great, but the the, uh, the the new the new thing is just the speed at which you can load games and swap between different games. So I'm sure you guys are really enjoying it, right? Oh, for sure. Jenna did a great quick resume demo that I'm going to steal from her and place right here. I mean, it was right. like shocking because it's like usually I'm, if I'm going to load a game, I'm like, oh, I'll go upstairs, maybe get a snack, get, you know, yeah. a whole entire dinner or meal. But now I'm like, nope, no time. I'm just I'm in the game and ready to play. Yeah. If, if it's, when I first started using my Xbox Series X at home or the S and I was remember I don't remember what game it was. It was loading. I was like, I'm reading the, you know, they got the tip screen. Make sure, you know, press A to jump or whatever. And I was reading it. and I'm like, OK. Oh, oh, it's waiting for me. I can go. You know, the you know, you're you're the slow. Oh, it's almost like you're the slowest part of the equation now. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah, like that sure. is kind of like the future. It's like I need to be able to keep up with what my computer is doing right. or TV. Right. So it's like, man, not, I mean, can I get some sort of like transplant into this brain here? Maybe <laughs> same one. You know? Yeah. Right. Right. But well, it's, it's like we live in this world where like we kind of want things to be instant. So I feel like it's it's a very appropriate time because we don't like waiting. Well, I know our generation no. doesn't, at least. Yeah, you don't you don't like waiting. You got to have it now. You know, I, I've always told you know. It were, you talked about working on the three consoles. And since Xbox 360, I've always told them that, look, speed is a feature. You know, you got all these different features of games and consoles and whatnot. I said, but speed is a feature. How fast you can get to where you're going is a feature. You know, we count how many, how many presses of A to get somewhere you have to go. We want to make it as fast as possible. So, yeah, it's so when you're seeing that with Series X and S, so certainly making things, you, your ability to get there faster. But, but now the technology can really move it along. It's no longer the bottleneck. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been doing a lot of stuff as far as, I guess, just really, I mean, kind of embracing this whole sort of lockdown and working with people. So we've done a bunch of really fun stuff with like the Microsoft store and I actually just hosted, yep. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but we did, uh, it's a show called Signature Rigs. And we basically built a PC yeah, for Carl Anthony it. Towns. It it's really awesome. So if you guys haven't watched it yet, I'll put a link somewhere and you guys can watch it. But it was really fun because we all shot it remote, three yep. separate productions plus Microsoft. We sent all of the footage off and then they edited this amazing show out of all of the content that we shot at home. So it was super right. impressive. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's, I mean, we're all seeing, fortunately, you know, at Microsoft, we, you know, I've been there for, this is another Here's another thing that's going to make me feel old, ladies. Uh, in January, I will have been at Microsoft for 20 years. Wow. So we should I send you a seen, cake. Uh, yeah, or Someone's got to get you I a cake or something. <laughs> I have seen stuff. Um, you know, it's been a long time, but, you know, it's, it's, it's this technology is so advanced right now where it just, it's the fact that you can, you know, you're standing in line at the grocery store and you can click on a button and join a meeting and you're like, yeah, I'm here. And you're, you're okay. shopping for your grapes. You know, it's crazy the technology of just being able to join things virtually and being able to wherever you are. I mean, I've I've had meetings where where, where a lot of the meetings are starting. So where are you? And people are in, they're in Florida, they're overseas. You know, you just you think they're they're the next town over, but nope. A lot of people are just gone. They're in L.A. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. I feel like too. Like a lot of people are like, oh, work from home. We're not going to work as much. But for us, I feel like we work more because it's not really there's not like a real time schedule. Like, oh, I should turn my brain off. It's like I could be working all the time because I'm in the same spot. So I feel like yeah, people are no, working there's, more. There's, there's something. There's. I was reading some uh, psychological studies about this. You know, there's something about, about getting in your car going to work and you're thinking and you're driving through all the stoplights and you're getting on the highway and off the highway and whatnot. So you're, you're, it's kind of your compression and decompression. Uh, it bookends your day, your work day. So we, we lost that. So now, you know, I wake up and I walk down the stairs and I go get my espresso and I'm, I'm in work, you know, from the time I'm out of bed to the time I'm sitting at my desk is maybe two minutes, mm -hmm. right? It's just, it's so, and so you lose that, this, this concept of, of, of space, now everything is all together. My wife and my wife and daughter are in the other room. You may hear one or both of them. Um, and we're, we're sitting on, I mean, we, we live in a fairly large house, but we're still bumping into each other and it's like, okay, are you done dad? Can you go away? Right. <laughs> so it's, 
so yeah, so it's working from home has been, you know, it's been challenging. We learned a lot of new things, but it's certainly, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie and say it's been great. It's been challenging. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to eventually whenever normalcy returns. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like we're just kind of adjusting to like this new normal. I don't think anything will ever go back to normal. I think we've learned so much in all of this as far as in the past like year, how yeah. we can actually use technology and to sort of waste less time. Like I've spent, I've wasted so much time just flying across the country to pick up a device or a phone or something and then fly back home. Like that's, right. we don't have to do that. Exactly. And like with all that time we saved, which it kind of um, allowed me to and rediscover money. money. Yeah, money and time. Right. But like it allowed me to rediscover my love for gaming. Cause I'm like, wait, I, I can, I actually have more time. I don't have to waste three hours driving to Burbank and back. Like I can play more games. Well, it's funny you say that because, um, and you guys only live a town away from Burbank and it's three hours away. Yep. <laughs> um, but you no, know, it's funny because, you know, we talked about the travel thing and, you know, you guys would travel a lot. I certainly travel. I haven't traveled at all. Last, my last event was PAX East in Boston, right as this was happening. Wow. And so, you know, my wife used to travel a lot and I used to travel a lot. And she, she's funny because I'm like, I kind of miss it. So let me, what she did, let me show you this. <laughs> She, we used to try, you know, I don't know when you guys would come up here, we, we would fly this depending upon where you are, but you know, Alaska airlines is who we would fly all the time. She found the company that sells the first class <gasps> nut mix. Oh, <laughs> so my <laughs> goodness. That is so, unbelievable. Well, we also, so our friends sent us a, a, a massive thing of Biscoff cookies to kind of also right. help with like the travel thing. So I'm just like sitting in my kitchen eating Biscoff cookies. I'm like, oh man, it's not as enjoyable, anyway, but so still pretty good. This That's has been, I mean, this has been helpful. You're right. It's not as, it's not as enjoyable as, as uh, you know, sitting up there at 40,000 feet, getting a warm towel on your hands, but you know what? Not. You, you, it's <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Wow. For sure. I mean, I kind of want to hear more about like your 20 years at Microsoft. Like what are some of your like highlights? Like what's, what, what is just kind of stands out for you? Well, you're, you know, it's funny because you, you, I've been thinking about that because I'm going to put a blog post up when it happens in January. So I'm starting to think about it. So I haven't really formulated yet, but what stands out for me is a couple things. One, when I joined the company, Windows XP was still in beta. Wow. Okay. So it was, that's, that's how far long ago it was, you know? So that's one thing that stands out for me watching this, you know, having, I remember walking into my, my office at Microsoft the first day and having this big key, big beige keyboard and the big beige monitor with, that was like 30 pounds. And so watching just everything shrink over time, you know, uh, there's, there's certain moments of, you know, we, we talked about, you know, we talked about zero hour when we launched the 360, that was such a special moment, you know, being out in the desert, you know, we talk about things that may or may not ever happen again. So that was really incredible. Um, you know, moving forward, see, being able to interview when on my podcast, I had the chance to interview Bill Gates. That's cool. So That's every, really cool. So being able to, being able to meet some of the most incredible people and fly around the world as we were talking about traveling and just being able to represent the brand of Xbox and how many people just adore Xbox and love gaming. I, I remember when I was moving to gaming, I joined the company in 2001 and moved over to gaming in 2003. So two years later. And I remember telling my, my family, you know, my mom and my sisters, my, my wife was very supportive, but they, I was telling my family and they're like, you're going to move to gaming. Really? Why? Well, I'm a gamer. I love games. Why wouldn't I? And then just to see it just, just take off from, you know, 2003 with the launch of 360 and 2005 and just beyond it's just, it's, it's outrageous now. It's just getting so bigger and bigger too. Yeah, it just I just I'm like, where does this end? Mm -hmm. You know, people ask me, well, how do you how do you stay at Xbox, man? I've had companies, every company that you could imagine from A to Z come and offer me a job. And I'm like, why are you staying at Xbox? I'm like, because I see what they're doing and the cool stuff we're working on, you know. So I I just and I and not only that, but the people. I mean, you you have I know you've talked to Phil and he's he's just exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Um all the people that are surrounded us, Phil's certainly the most notable because he's, you know, he's, he's the head of Xbox, but, you know, being able to talk to our, our, our chief marketing officer, Chris Capicello, who's, you know, who just is, is a gamer himself and he and I'll go back and forth. I mean, it's just amazing to, to, to have access to these people. And I, I, I pinch myself sometimes cause I'm like, wow, I, I get to work, I get to work in video games. Don't tell anybody. You're not, it's like I'm having, I'm having imposters complex, but it's a lot of fun. It is cool. And I think just the culture at Microsoft too. And it's funny because like, I mean, ever, I'm obviously a huge Apple fan and my name's I but I'm, but people always associate me with that. But I'm like, you guys don't understand. I have PCs. I've been gaming since I was young. Like I built my own gaming PC in high school. Cool. So it just goes to one of those things where it's like, 
you know, if you're passionate about something like that's, it's just really great to be able to tell that story. And it's like, you don't have to, I don't even know what I'm trying to say exactly, but I'm just trying to. Well, I, I agree with you. I mean, so to your point, let me show you this. Oh, let, me, let me pull these up here. Uh, you know, we talk about, you know, gamers and I showed yeah. this on my podcast, you know, I've got like, you know, oh, there's a switch behind me. Like, oh, you have a switch. Yeah. I also have a Stadia controller. <laughs> I also, I also, nobody sent this to me. I bought, I have the Luna controller. Oh, nice. Right? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a gamer. I want to see what's out there. You know, it's part of it is professional research. You know, you know, I've, I've got, I've got an iPhone just like everybody else. And I've got a Mac and I've got windows. I just like you guys, I love technology, mm -hmm. right? I just love it. And I love seeing the companies, whether it's Microsoft or Apple or whoever is pushing, pushing the envelope forward. Um, I, I, I love it. So yeah, I, I totally get what you guys are saying. Cause I never forget when working, when I started working for Xbox and I'd go out and do public events even before 2005 and after, but anyway, people come up to you and say, Oh, I hate windows. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Whatever. There's you other know, options. And, and and then we would stop and I would say, well, why? And we kind of talk about it. And they, it's not that they hated it. It's just they were frustrated mm -hmm. and they didn't have anybody to vent to. And I just happened to be at the right place at the wrong time. So it's fine. I mean, we all we all love our things. We all hate our things. But it's it's at the end of the day, you know, I I, I just adore all this technology and where it's going. Well, I'm sorry. Sure. No, no. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, now. No, but that's what I love. And I, you know, just getting on Twitter sometimes and just fighting with people over console first PC first. I'm like, just enjoy the games. Like this is supposed to be something that is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not to be fighting don't over like it. Don't like what I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the one thing I love about Xbox too, is that the, their goal is to kind of make things like more inclusive. It's like, we don't need to fight, you know, we can all get along offering, um, you know, like, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like cross platform. Like that's huge. Cross -platform. You know, mm -hmm. it's, Cross-platform, putting, uh, you know, having having uh, um, X Cloud on your Android devices, you know, just games wherever you are. We would love to have them wherever you are. So yeah, and, and Phil's really brought that forward. And Microsoft has a history of as a platform company, you know, with Windows, one of the largest platforms, original platforms, you know, largest ones in the world. It's 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 you know, and, and that's why I always remind people like, hey, Windows. That's our other gaming platform. Yeah. There's millions of Windows gamers out there, and we want to make them happy too. That's why we. And I don't want to get into this story where I'm pitching Game Pass, so I don't have to tell you all about love that. Big, big fans but, love Game Pass, so go yeah, ahead. Right. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, there's that's why we have Game Pass for PC, and there's there's a lot of other cool stuff. So it's 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 a lot of fun. I mean, it's it it, and I've been at the at Microsoft when it was you know considered to be an evil empire, and and back in the day, and now we're just this like big i don't want to say big lovable company but it's certainly been great watching the watching the migration to change the business we've got azure with gaming you know with uh, azure stuff and office has made the migration to the cloud xbox is doing some great cloud work so it's been great to see us kind of migrate and mature and even like the microsoft duo like, <gasps> i it's still one of my favorite devices this year mm -hmm. just now you, sure. you have one yeah yeah it's, you know, both i can't do. reach it i wish i was like spider-man i could just be like okay. yeah I, I don't i don't have one <laughs> it's I mean, really great you know, made us, yeah i mean I've, everybody says it's been a lot of fun you know i've got my my i've got my surface pro x over there and i really love that so i mean it's 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 just it's we make some good stuff we have you know i guys. i know some people yeah uh, we'll, we'll, see we'll see if what we can, can do <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks but ladies thanks no, but, Panos. but what's <laughs> cool is like that device though it's the first time in a, in a really long time that i was surprised by something because it was completely different it was just thoughtful and just the way that you were using those two to, two screens because there's so many like foldables and mm -hmm. dual screen devices but it was it, it's different so it's like yeah. you know what microsoft really they they took it with that one yeah sure. no, and, and what i appreciate yeah i agree with you and you know i'm also at the point now because i've been doing technology for I mean, I've been nerding out since as I'm I'm going to date myself, probably 1980, you know, and when, when I used to go work on a computer with a modem and things like that, just crazy old stuff. But I'm at the point now where, you know, I just don't have enough time to futz. Yeah. I just want stuff to work. Mm -hmm. I've got to move on. I, I'm not I'm not the the young guy that I used to be in where I have lots of time to like, oh, let's make this change and reboot. Oh, it broke and, and whatever. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just don't have time for that anymore. I just want stuff to work. And I love that electronics are now much more consumer friendly than they used to be. I mean, sure. they were not, they were not, they were, it wasn't a pleasant time back then, but now it's, it's much better. 
So what can we expect for like the big launch? Do you have any secrets you want to, you know, spill the tea here? Well, it's funny because right now I know they're in the middle of doing this cool Assassin's Creed stream oh, with cool. Ubisoft. So that's mm-hmm. fun. Um, so I'm going to check that out. But, you know, we're doing it. We've got a, we've got a live stream happening for launch, which isn't really like, hey, we're not going to host some news. This is just a celebration. Mm-hmm. This is a second screen experience. You're going to you're going to boot up your console. You want to get into your, you know, all your enhanced. Have you, by the way, you've seen some of these enhanced games in here. Yeah, you can. I don't know if we've seen this. You can kind of see some of the new badges on the bottom oh, there nice. that are excess enhanced. That's cool. You know, we've got all these enhanced games, so we're really just going to do a, uh, a second screen stream with a bunch of developers and just talk about things. You know, just kind of just talk about and celebrate celebrate the fact that you know consoles don't get launched every year like phones do. Right? True. They just don't. Um, they don't get launched every two years or three years. It's it's much less frequent than that. So let's let's take a moment and really appreciate it and ex- be excited for people that are excited for this and just just enjoy it and celebrate. It's gonna be so fun. We have some big plans. So we I do. I custom ordered two Yummy. cakes to be the size, shape, and I everything. Love the, by the way, I love that cakes are a theme. I love here. cakes. Like, oh, we gotta get okay. so cakes I, I for everything. That. That's, I, I blame our mom for that. But um, okay. so yeah, so I sent the like dimensions, the pictures of, of the Series S and the Series X to a bakery. Right. So I'm hoping that they're going to be like the lifelike, you know, it's like you see those things where it's like, oh, is this a shoe or is it a cake? Right. Well, I'm right, hoping exactly. that this is what that turns out to be. So we're going to have right. a, a, not a party, but like we're going to hang out in your, in your garage in front of the have Xbox an, are you refrigerator. Have an unboxing of the cake? Maybe it's going <laughs> to, yeah. it's going to be in the Xbox refrigerator and we're going to be taking right. the Xboxes out of the Xbox. By and the then way, it's going to be let's, great. Let's talk about this for a we second. Have to. Can we please? I love it. <laughs> like two people in the war, one of two people in the entire world to have, I don't even have one of those. Uh, and I hear those things are just beasts. So this, for those of you who don't know, you know, of course, uh, we we sent um, some. Everyone talked about Xbox Series X being. Do I have it here? Oh, it's over in the corner. I don't. Have, I can't show you. It's I've okay. got one of the, the fake ones. Um, uh, but it's uh, you know to have you, you, we, we everyone thought it looked like a refrigerator, and we decided to lean into the meme and go, all right, let's let's send you guys a fridge, right? And you did, and it was <laughs> just like the highlight I think of this year by far. Like it was just so random. This box was massive, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a little not party, COVID safe, mask up, social distance, hang out in the garage with a fridge around the Xbox fridge, yeah. I love it. I wish I could be, you know, I'd be there if I could. I know. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm inviting myself. No, you, uh, I yeah. I mean, I open invite anytime. If you're ever down in Los Angeles, which probably Again. won't be happening for who even knows, but I actually brought an 85 inch TV out to the garage so that I could make it look like that what? the fridge is plugged into the TV so we can play Xbox right. in there. It's going to be great. I love that. It's going to be so that. great. Yeah. You know, you guys, you, it's funny because I was watching you guys, you guys have, you know, you're, you're kind of this epicenter of technology because you've got you talked about the duo you talk you know i guess we're getting we may be getting new macs next week with the apple announcement coming out you know we've got new phones coming out from apple you guys have a ps5 already i mean you guys are just sitting i mean this stuff's just showing up at your door do you, do you have somebody just managing your package arrivals at this we point? have security at the door just you know making sure nobody yeah. breaks <laughs> i was actually thinking i was like well tyler who uh, who helps shoot and edit and stuff i was like we need to hire somebody just to honestly manage recycling mm-hmm. because yeah. it's crazy. I mean, it's basically me, Jen, and Tyler doing everything. So it's, it's right. definitely a lot, but it's yeah. hard. I mean, and, that, it's, and that's interesting you say that because that's the one thing I'm, I've been so cognizant of recently is the recycling. You know, anytime I'm looking at packaging and what does it look like and how can I break it down? And I've been teaching my daughter all about recycling. So Aww. it's really important to to think about that. And you, you know, many years ago, no one ever, no one cared, you know, it's like, oh, plastic bags and plastic this. Well, oh, hey guys, the, you know, the, 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 the planet's crying out. Yeah. The planet's not happy. It's true. Um, so I, so that's, that's something I'm, you know, even, even things I'm very careful about what I buy because I want to make sure, do I really need that? Mm-hmm. I've gotten like, I don't know about you guys, but I, I get a lot of, I don't get as much volume of stuff as you do, but I try to recycle it as much as possible and find a good home for things Mm -hmm. because it's, 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 I don't want it to go just to, I just don't want it to be e-waste. Yeah. I mean, my neighbors, they end up like every trash week. I just use all of their recycling bins. So I just go down the the street and just fill up everybody's. I'm like, thank you. Thankfully I have access to a large, um, like a recycling dumpster. So I mean, right. I, I probably is illegal that does, I take it. I gotta but... tell you something. When you when you unbox something, does it annoy you as much as it annoys me when they use styrofoam? <gasps> yes, it's yes. just the sound. And styrofoam is the devil. The well, no, it's just the, it it's the sound, but it's also the devil because you can't recycle that. You can't. It's just. It's like it's. What are you going to do with it? And it goes everywhere. It. It's terrible. Oh yeah, everywhere. So it's it is terrible. But yeah, um, anyway, bad. how did we get on this topic? I have no, no idea. Uh, you said big box. I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure either. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, I know you don't have too much more time, but is there anything else no. that you want to share with us for, well, for the just, launch? I, just, I have been so taken aback and thrilled with the success that you both have had. I'm Thank so you. thrilled Thank for you. you guys and um, what you're doing. Uh, it's it's great to see, you know, with with all I, I love seeing your videos pop up in social. I'll go over to Reddit and I'll see you guys in, the, in Reddit. <laughs> I just, you know, some of the some of your content and it's great. I mean, it's going to be a very interesting, you know, 2020 is not over yet. Please be over. Um, you know, 2021, to your point, is going to be really interesting to see what happens both in terms of COVID. Here we are in the United States. We've had more, you know, more cases in a day, single day than ever before, right? And everybody's yeah. kind of getting relaxed in terms of, oh, I'm going to go out without a mask. I know you guys are sound like you're pretty hardcore. Very. We, we, don't, mm -hmm. we, we, barely, we rarely leave the house. And if we do, we mask up like crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's it's going to be interesting to see what this, what this, the future holds for us. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited just because I feel like I think people at least are starting to sort of adjust to this new normal, figure out ways to work and doing remote shoots and things like that. So I think we've learned a lot and I'm just hopeful that, you know, with gaming and everything else, we're still going to all yeah. be able to stay connected right. and hang out. Yeah, Everyone will stay home with their point, consoles. You know, we're we're excited about, you know, with the launch as we getting back to the consoles of X and S because it's, you know, people forget, you know, they've got these amazing libraries of Xbox titles. When I say Xbox, I mean original 360 mm -hmm. Xbox One that are just going to appear in their digital libraries and they can just go. The save is already there. So you're just going to hit the ground running and we're going to get you into gaming as fast as we can. So. We're I'm, excited about that. So I'm very excited. excited. We will send you some updates from our not party. Yes, for and sure. Some, some no, cake the content. Cake I need to see the cakes. Oh, you will see the cakes. See I promise. I'm not sure if I'm going to live stream it or make it a YouTube video. Who knows what's going to happen? I'll try not to eat it first. But maybe you Snoop will want to you know come over. I, I probably Jenna, not. Jenna, I'm just gonna, listen. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Just enjoy it. I, you know, I don't will. Look, just 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 soak it in, lick the frosting, make a mess. Have I fun. will. That's why I got two cakes. <laughs> One's for me, and then if anybody else. <laughs> Yeah. Is, do you have a show cake? Is this like a Kardashians where they have a show kitchen? Is no. that what this is? I mean, <laughs> I don't think so, but I, I will say that, that the, um, I don't want to say the price of the cakes, but it could have mm. been a console. Um, anyway, it's going to be worth it. This is an investment into my happiness. What about the <laughs> Sea of Thieves cake that I had for my birthday? Oh my gosh. That was incredible. Did you ever see that? Yes, oh, I did. Oh my I didn't goodness. realize you play. Yes. Until I saw that. Until I saw it. By the way, that is enhanced. It looks amazing on X and S. We were playing, I think, uh, like last week. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's so good. And like the new dogs. When I that little care package with the, the dog integration, I was losing well, it. I was know, like, this is you, everything you know that they do is so cool. This is embarrassing, but are we I not don't friends? Have you guys are my friends list. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. All right. Fix this. We, I can. We'll, we'll do that off the air. Yes, I don't want. I don't want to take up your time. I will add you. Could probably guess all of our names, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy. Maybe I'll give. Maybe I'll give you. Uh, maybe I'll give you my private camera tag. So that Sounds good. So that there you go. Knows. Mine's very public, unfortunately, but it's all good. Well, thank right. you so much for hanging out with us. Good luck with the launch and everything else, and hopefully, maybe we can game soon. Yes, let's do it and be safe. And thanks again for all your support for the launch and everything else. And keep up the great work. You too. Thank, thank you. you. It was nice to see you. Bye. Thank you again, Larry, for joining us on the Same Brain Podcast. I can't believe, did you ever think Same Brain would be where it is today? We've had two Xbox Microsoft people I know. on our podcast. We've had a lot of really great guests so far. Yeah. And we have a couple others that are coming up, like our sister. <gasps> forgot about that. I know, I forgot. I forgot. I actually forgot about it too. I was supposed to post that like a week ago, but then okay. I forgot. So I'm gonna edit that at some point and post that. But there's been so much happening and I appreciate all of you guys for hanging out here on our little podcast, listening, watching. I always love everybody's tweets on Saturday. They're like, it's Saturday, time for Same Brain Podcast. And they're like, maybe, we know you guys, we've been pretty consistent, I yeah. will say, pretty consistent. Yeah. I think the one time it was on a Sunday. And I'm gonna look up some of the reviews. there are special events, we tend to do them. A bonus. You know, like a bonus, or we don't do it Saturday because we just posted earlier. So like next week, there's gonna be an Apple event. So <gasps> stay tuned for oh, that podcast. Oh my gosh, Which yeah. we will, uh, uh, we will, um, what are you doing over there? I'm looking up reviews. Oh, Jenna, give us some reviews. Okay, uh, if you guys aren't aware, this is episode 21, and we usually start the episodes by reading our reviews on Apple Podcasts, as well as listening to anchor.fm slash same brain voice messages. This one says, thanks for the amazing content. Hi, Justine and Jenna. This podcast is such a delight in these crazy times. It's great listening, watching, getting your recaps, chats in a silly and fun way. Thank you both. And thank you to Tyler behind the scenes. Tyler! Lots of love from Seattle. Se Tyler loves Seattle. He, he does. I bet Larry, I think Larry's also in Seattle. Yeah, I think he, 
we, we've got we Microsoft. We don't know where he is. That's true. We actually don't know. But our friends at Microsoft yeah. are up there in Seattle, you know, working remotely. Okay. We have uh, Same Brain, a very enjoyable podcast to listen while sipping a pumpkin spice latte oh, yeah. here on the East Coast. Very rainy and chilly. Keep up. Oh, keep it up. Justine Jenna and especially Tyler. Tyler, yeah. did you say that you're getting all these shout outs? Did you, did send you do like something? T- did you send like a no. tweet that you're like, guys, add me in the add, add me, me in the, the reviews. You're in the reviews. Well, that's because you now have the mic, the Tyler mic. Ah, Not no. today though. He's here you though. You know what? Um, yeah, no. You guys, Tyler's I was here. gonna say something and it was, I, th- I think it was actually gonna be funny and then now I've completely forgot about it. That's okay, it. do you have your voice messages ready? No. Oh. Those, because they would be on the computer and today we I was not prepared. Okay. So they next will be week. there for next week. If you guys want to go leave voice messages, anchor.fm slash same brain, we will catch up on those next week. Make sure you subscribe on Apple Podcasts and be sure to leave reviews because we do read those and check us out on youtube.com slash same brain. I miss our spooky sounds. Oh. It's on the other roadcaster. Oh, same brain. Episode now, 21. I just want to tell you about Verizon spooky stories. No, you're not allowed. You guys I, missed our Halloween episode. It was like you one of my have favorites. To. It was one of my favorites. It was so silly. We were in the garage. We were in costumes. You got to make sure you check that one out. Yep. Okay, bye. Oh, bye. Are we done now? Yep. I think, this, oh, I think oh, it's oh. over. Xboxes are coming out soon. Oh my God. They're Gaming season. season. It's here. Season. Okay, bye.